Hello and welcome my friend. Next I like to show you that how to replace power supply part in this this PC desktop computer. And now I have here this uh, Dell's desktop computer and there is now situation that when I rotate in that back area there is in this area we have this power supply and we we are next planning to replace that part and in that that part goes this electric cable what we normally hook in in our homes okay and how to replace that part and normally if you have any issues or then this power supply makes sound it it is good to replace and first step is to open these covers and covers are these parts and in some computers there are screws that we open this metallic our plastic panels but in this that, that Dell model I need to press that button in here and then when I press that button in this way and, and then I need to same uh, same time lift and and widen this okay now it's now it's stuck okay now it's open and now it's open in this upper area there is this gap in there and same time I, I need to do in here lower area there is similar button and then when I press then this Dell opens so nicely this is very, very interesting engineering, and but but not all desktops opens in that way. But this is this Dell's idea, and then we go to look that closer, and there we can see this uh, this power supply, and it this is it is in this part. And then when we look in here, we can see that there is this part. And now I am planning to replace that part. And how it happens? It happens so that first we need to check a little bit these cables, that where those cables are going. And first step is to unconnect these cables. It is our first job. And then it's easy to only check that where those cables are going like in here and then take those cables away and, and when you when you are planning to replace these parts please use rubber gloves because then we can eliminate this electricity because ele electricity can damage these uh, uh, computers this circuit board what is in there and all other things and that that's it's only good to good to connect these cables and there is this my first cable and this part opens so that I press this, these sides and then I pull out this this cable in here in that way little bit press in both sides and and then then this part opens in that way it is actually quite easy and then there is similar similar thing in here a little bit upper one the small part only and it opens only carefully pull out and it's good to press all time our fingers in this white area because if we pull out these connectors in that position where is this wire we can damage that area and it's bad and then then I unconnect that cable and now these cables are all fine and then I have left only this central circuit board cable and there is now situation that uh, that I need to carefully this is carefully part because this is circuit board and there is idea that I need to press a little bit that or actually if I 
So if I take my screwdriver, it's good to check that if I a little bit lift that up in here carefully, and then I pull out, or actually I need to press that side in here, in that way, that I, I press that side down, it opens in that way, and then, then I can pull out this cable in, in that way. Now it opens. Cool. Okay, and now I have now I have unplugged all of these cables in my power supply. Then I can then I can go to that area, and there we can see one and two screws. And then I take Philips screwdriver and I open these small holes in there. This first one, there is second. And it seems that there is only two of those. And there is this screw. And then, then I believe that now this power supply supplies should, should be free. Okay, it's, it's in here. Let's look. And it moves. And it's here. And then I take this my power supply away. There is one, one cable left. What goes in here down area. And now I keep my hands in here because I need to take this one fun final. There's and it opens in that way. I need to press a little bit this left side. And now carefully, carefully this power supply is in here. Okay, and then then we can check that, that what is this power supplies information in here. And there is now message that this output is 250 volts. And that's, that's kind of our similar power supply I need to purchase. Okay. And then the pack installation is same. Only that we need to connect these cables back and then our new power supply is working. Okay, and this is this information how to replace power supply in PC desktop computer. And thank you for watching that video.